This is the Military and Aerospace Electronics Report. I'm John Keller. Many of us consider submarine warfare to be a relic of the Cold War, two decades ago when nuclear missile and fast attack submarines from the U.S. and Soviet Union played cat and mouse endlessly through the world's oceans to gain a strategic advantage over the other. When the Berlin Wall came down, and later when the Twin Towers did the same, submarine and anti-submarine warfare took a back seat to more pressing military priorities in the global war on terror. Well, submarine warfare hasn't gone away. Back in November 2007, a Chinese Song-class attack submarine surfaced near the aircraft carrier USS Kitty Hawk during a Pacific naval exercise. Now, that incident goes to show that submarines remain a most formidable threat to U.S. aircraft carriers, which are central to the nation's ability to project power overseas. It's not just the Chinese either. Last week, an Iranian naval commander warned that his country's Russian-made Kilo-class attack submarines might launch torpedoes at U.S. carriers operating in the Persian Gulf, a waterway vital to the global oil trade. Although the Kilo is not a new submarine, it's considered to be among the quietest diesel electrics in the world. That makes them hard to find and makes them a very real threat. Well, the Pentagon isn't taking this news lying down. The U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, just this month awarded contracts that might give U.S. anti-submarine warfare some big advantages. A couple of companies, Science Applications International Corp. in McLean, Virginia, and Applied Physical Sciences Corp. in Groton, Connecticut, are working with DARPA to develop ASW surveillance technology pr to protect carrier battle groups operating in the open ocean from quiet enemy attack submarines. SAIC and Applied Physical Sciences are working on sonar technology as part of the Deep Sea Operations Program, or DSOP, that will operate at extreme ocean depths in the so-called Deep Sound Channel to detect even the quietest enemy submarines overhead. Now that's detecting enemy submarines from under the sea. To find them from over the sea, DARPA is working with three companies to develop surveillance technologies for unmanned aerial vehicles, which would help UAVs find submarines lurking in shallow coastal waters and harbors without the use of traditional acoustic submarine hunting technologies like sonar. This effort is part of the DARPA Shallow Water Agile Submarine Hunting Program, or SWASH. Now, the companies working on it are Cortana Corporation in Falls Church, Virginia, SRC in North Syracuse, New York, and Applied Physical Sciences, the same company that's working on the DSOP program. Now, with programs like these, perhaps the U.S. Navy will be up to the task of dealing with today's and tomorrow's most dire submarine threats. For the Military and Aerospace Electronics Report, I'm John Keller.